it's faith clinic. Praise the Lord. So we welcome us to our faith clinic, and the Lord Jesus Christ is the chief medical consultant. So you have come to a good place. And this morning, we want to pray for parents. Uh, the Lord is going to perform a spiritual medical operation on, on grandparents, I mean grandparents. And they will go from glory to glory in Jesus' name. My marriage shall be a blessing. My children surround my table. I will see my children's children. Thus says the Lord of hosts. My marriage shall be a blessing. My children surround my table. I will see my children's children, thus says the Lord of hosts. Hallelujah, my marriage shall be a blessing. My children surround my table. I will see my children's children, thus says the Lord of hosts. One more time, my marriage shall be a blessing. My children surround my table. I will see my children's children. Thus says the Lord of hosts. I pray for grandparents in the house. You will see all your children's children in the name of Jesus. You will live a life of peace and longevity. That no matter the number of children you have, even if they are one dozen, you will see all their children in the name of Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord. Second Chronicles chapter 22. I read verse 1 to 4. Second Chronicles chapter 22, verse 1 to 4, please. I want you to follow me. And by the time we say, let us pray. I am hoping that you'll be charged. You'll be so touched that nobody will push you to pray in the name of Jesus. Second Chronicles chapter 22, verse 1 to 4. Then the inhabitants of Jerusalem made Ahaziah, his youngest son, king in his place. For the raiders who came with the Arabians into the camp had killed all the older sons. So Ahaziah, the son of Jehoram, king of Judah, reigned. Ahaziah was 42 years old when he became king, and he reigned one year in Jerusalem. His mother's name was Athaliah. Athaliah. His mother's name was Athaliah, the granddaughter of Omri. He also walked in the ways of the house of Ahab. That is Ahaziah. He walked in the ways of the house of Ahab. For his mother, Athaliah, advised him to do wickedly. Therefore, he did evil in the sight of the Lord, like the house of Ahab, for they were his counselors, and after the death of his father, to his destruction. Praise the name of the Lord. I pray for grandparents in the name of Jesus. Your grandchildren, they will rule and they will reign in the mighty name of Jesus. Your grandchildren, they will take dominion in the name of Jesus. There will be people that carried the anointing of God. And that anointing will make them to go forward in the name of Jesus. That anointing will make them to progress in the name of Jesus. That anointing will make them to scale higher and higher in the name of Jesus. Because uh, we were told in the book of Revelation chapter 1 that we have been made kings and priests unto God, unto our God. So, our grandchildren, they will reign and they will rule in Jesus' name. 
But I pray for them that they will not be like this man, Ahaziah. In the mighty name of Jesus. I look at the profile of this man and I, I feel sorry for him. Feel sorry for him. Because this young man was brought up by a wicked mother. A wicked queen, Athaliah. For those of you who don't know, Athaliah, do you know her mom? Jezebel. Athaliah was the daughter of Jezebel, the wife of King Ahab. So here we have a grandmother, Jezebel, who is downright wicked. Then we have Athaliah, the mother, terribly evil. And this young man grew under the influence and the advice of Athaliah, her mother. I mean, his mother. And I, I felt bad when I was going through this. Because this man reigned only for one year. One, I'm not going to bother you about his uh, profile too much. Because, you know, we are going to pray. He reigned only for one year. One year. And he died a horrible death. He had a horrible sickness and died. You know, with that sickness killed him. God made sure of that. Because he was brought up by a horrible, evil mother who had a downright wicked grandmother. A king. So why did I say this? Why did I mention this? Grandparents in the house. Um, I know that uh, you, are, you are not Jezebel. You will never be Jezebel. In the name of Jesus. May the spirit of Jezebel never be inside you. In the name of Jesus. May your children never be an Athaliah. In the mighty name of Jesus. Um, this young man, Ahaziah, his life, his upbringing, his development, completely different to Timothy. I'm sure we've read about Timothy, and we know a lot about, about him. Let's just read one verse. First Timothy chapter, chapter 1, verse 5. Let's see what, the, what Paul attested there. Sorry, 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 5. Paul said there concerning Timothy's parent, I mean mother and grandmother, when I call to remembrance the genuine faith, genuine faith that is in you, which dwell first, in your grandmother, Lois, and your mother, Eunice. And I am persuaded, I am convinced, that that genuine faith that is in your grandmother, Lois, and mother, Eunice, you have that genuine faith. This means that these people, they are truly godly. And they brought up, you know, Lois brought up a godly daughter, Eunice. And Eunice brought up a godly son, Timothy. I pray that that will be our portion in Jesus' name. Amen. Grandparents, you need to cultivate, you know, a genuine faith. Let me explain a bit about that genuine faith. Look at the amplified version. If it comes up on the screen, Second Timothy chapter 1, verse 5, it says, I remember when your sincere and unqualified faith the, which means the surrendering of your entire self to God in Christ with confident trust in his power, in his wisdom, in his goodness. That's what Lois and Eunice, that's what they, what they possessed. A faith which first lived in the heart of your grandma, Lois, and your mother, Eunice, and I am confident that it is in you as well. I pray that that will be the portion of grandparents in the house in the name of Jesus. I pray that um, we will have grandparents. If you are parents here, please, when I'm praying for grandparents, say amen as well. Because you are going to be grandparents one day as well in the name of Jesus. So I pray for grandparents in the house that your profile will be like that of Lois in the name of Jesus. That God will give you, that you will receive the grace. You will, you will manifest the grace and the anointing 
to bring up godly children. And that your children, as a result, can bring up godly grandchildren for you in the name of Jesus. Uh, so, I, um, I read about, I heard about on the news about a, a, a woman, met a man, the man slept with her, slept with her daughter, slept with her granddaughter, impregnated the granddaughter, and when the granddaughter now told him, he didn't want this woman and the daughter to know, so he told the granddaughter to abort the child, the girl refused, so he killed the granddaughter, came up on the news. You wonder what kind of grandmother is that woman? Well, we may say, uh, unbeliever, thank God that is not my life. I say that to say this. Grandparents, please check yourself. If there are things that you don't like in the lives of your children, and you don't do anything about it, and those things were also as a result of your own negligence, I want you to know that that is how they will bring up your grandchildren. Because it's what you have that you will give. If your children are not born again, most likely your grandchildren may not be born again. So grandparents, you have work to do. And your work is not just about bringing the grandchildren to you so that they can spend weekend with you. No. You have work to do. So as you are here, we are going to pray. Are there things that you don't like in the lives of your children? What have you done about it? Those things in the life of your grandchildren that you know are not godly. Are they, do they happen as a result of your own negligence or neglect? That when you too, you know, in your younger days, while you are having these children, you are pursuing a career that took your time far away from your children. And today your children, they are not sound in the faith. I want you to know that if they are not sound in the faith, there is, a, there is a possibility that your grandchildren, they may not be sound in the faith. So when you see things in the life of your grandchildren that you are not happy about, check yourself and ask yourself, did they get that from their parents? And is that as a result of yourself, the way you have brought up your own children? And this is why we are going to pray. This is why we are going to pray. Um, we are going to pray. So if you are here, like I said, parents, you are going to be grandparents one day. So, as I'm giving out this prayer point, you to pray. Even for grandchildren that are yet to be born, start to pray for them. Praise the name of the Lord. So, if you are here and you have checked your heart and you know there are certain traits in the life of your children that you are not happy with, that are not godly, and you know in your heart of heart you should have done something about it, but you didn't, and you haven't, we are going to pray. You are going to ask God for mercy. Because it is mercy, you know, if mercy found you, God will walk in the life of those children and the life of your grandchildren. So you are going to say, Father, please have mercy upon me. Whatever I have done during my younger days, when I was pursuing my career, when my focus was not my family 100%, and as a result, I have brought up children that are not sound in the faith. I've brought up children that... They are not. You, there is nothing to write home about them. Some of them, they don't even want to smell the church. Father, please have mercy upon me. Forgive me, oh God. I'm not hearing your voice, oh. Please open your mouth and say, Father, have mercy upon me. I look at myself. I check myself. And I know that I have been negligent. I know that I've not done enough to bring up my, my children in the way of the Lord. And now those children are parents. And I can see some of the traits that I'm not happy with. In the life of my children, I see them now in the life of my grandchildren. Father, please have mercy upon me. Any part of it that is as a result of my own fault, Father, please have mercy upon me. Father, please forgive me. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Father, have mercy upon me. Father, have mercy upon me. I own up. I own up. I own up. There are things that I should have done. Things that I should have done in putting my foot down, in bringing my children to church, in ministering salvation to them, in ensuring that they have sound faith, sound faith. Father, please have mercy upon me. Have me in any way I failed in doing that. Father, have mercy upon me. 
Have mercy upon me. Have mercy upon me. Have mercy upon me. Forgive me, O God of heaven. Forgive me, Father. Pray, 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 my brethren. While your children, while they were growing up, how did you minister salvation to them? Did you leave them in the hands of the children teachers? Now those children, they are becoming parents. They are now parents. And it's what they have that they are going to give their children. How much time do you spend with them, you know, to share the word of God? How have you encouraged them to be doing regular quiet time? How have you lived an exemplary life that they too can copy a godly life? A godly life. Let's pray, let's pray, let's pray. Ask God for forgiveness. Father, have mercy upon me. Have mercy upon me. Have mercy upon me. In Jesus' name we have prayed. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Shall we rise up, please? Shall we rise up, please? Let's rise up. Let's rise up. I'm not happy with the way we are praying. I'm not happy with the way we are praying. Please say after me, Father, Father, please help my children to possess the good qualities found in Eunice, the mother of Timothy, in the name of Jesus. Father, Father, please help my children to possess the good qualities found in Eunice, the mother of Timothy, in the name of Jesus. Brethren, take that to the Lord in prayer. Take that to the Lord in prayer. Ask the Father to, 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 to help your children. Ask the Father, ask the Father, that your children, that they will possess the good parental qualities found in Eunice. Eunice was a godly mother. Eunice was, was a holy and a righteous mother. And she was able to bring up Timothy in God's way. Timothy had, had sound faith. Paul said, when I remember, when I call to remembrance, the genuine faith that is in you, which dwell first in your grandmother Lois and your mother Eunice, and I am persuaded is in you. Pray, 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 brethren. Ask God to mold your children the way Eunice was molded. Ask God to grant your children genuine faith. Genuine faith. Grant to God to grant them, you know, holy and righteous qualities. In the name of Jesus. If they are not born again yet, pray that God will touch their hearts. In the name of Jesus. 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 Pray, 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 my brethren. Pray. Ask God to mold your children. Anything that you see in their lives that you are not happy about, ask God to come in. Ask God to perform an operation in their hearts. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we have prayed. In Jesus' name we have prayed. I want us to now say, Father, Father, I cast out anything that is not of God in the lives of my grandchildren in the name of Jesus. Father, Father, I cast out anything that is not of God in the life of my grandchildren in the name of Jesus. Please take that to the Lord in prayer. Take that to the Lord in prayer. Anything that you are seeing that you are not happy about, anything that you are seeing that you know is ungodly, pray and say, Father, in the name of Jesus, mention their names one by one. Mention their names one by one. The word of God says, for this purpose, the Son of God was manifested, that he might destroy the works of the devil, every works of the enemy, in the lives of our grandchildren, in the name of Jesus, let them be destroyed. Let them be destroyed. Let them be destroyed. In the name of Jesus, any spirit that is operating inside the lives of your grandchildren that are ungodly, cast them out. In the mighty name of Jesus, in the, name, in the mighty name of Jesus, are they being influenced by bad friends? Are they being influenced because of peer pressure? Are they being influenced by area boys and gangs? Are they being influenced by social media? Their time is social media. They don't have time for God. Do they go out to places? You know, where they call Satan's legal ground. Places that they shouldn't go. They go clubbing. They go places that the children of God should never be. Pray, 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 pray. And say, Father, in the name of Jesus, any spirit of the enemy operating in the lives of my grandchildren, I stand in the gap for them in the name of Jesus. And I cast out such spirits in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Lastly, please say after me, Father, Father, please touch the heart of my grandchildren. 
so that they can be receptive to Christ's likeness. Father, Father, please touch the heart of my grandchildren so that they can be receptive to Christ's likeness. In the name of Jesus, take that to the Lord in prayer. Has got to touch their hearts. Has got to soften their hearts. In the name of Jesus, remove every wrong beliefs that are that, that are unchristianly in their lives. Some of these, you, you, some of these young ones, their belief is funny. Some of them are becoming agnostics. Some of them are saying, "I'm not sure of certain things in the Bible anymore." Some of them are even, you know, they might be showing any trace of atheism. Cast those spirits out of them. Ask God to soften their hearts. In the name of Jesus. In the name, if you are a parent, you are pray for your grandchildren. The children that are yet to be born, your grandchildren that are yet to be born, pray for them as well. That the deadness, the carcasses of the environment, we have no influence over their lives. In the name of Jesus. Ask God to touch their heart. Ask God to touch their heart. So that they can be saved. In the name of Jesus. If they say they are safe and you are not seeing sound faith in them, ask God for sound faith in them. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus.